Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in the previous video, we have learned what is how to give the file name extension and what is a suit we have learned. Now in this video, we will see how to write the suit and also how to write the specs. Let's try to see in this video. Now we need to write that unit testing for this source for this file calculator.js file. So the name file name extension will be something like calculator.spec.js. Right, so where the spec.js is the file name extension for unit testing, so that we can know. And calculator is the name that we are the source file is calculator. For that reason, we are writing that calculator.spec.js. <coughs> now we need to create a suit. The suit is nothing but you need to understand that suit is nothing but a group of tests or specs. Now, how can we create a suit here? So we can create a suit using the method describe. So this is the describe method available in the Jasmine. So there is no need to import the describe from somewhere or something like that. This will be available globally. If you install this Jasmine as an NPM project also, it will be available globally. No need to install and all those things. No need to import and all those things. So describe is a method which is used to create a suit. So this is the first step. Now describe in this describe. So it will take two parameters. The first one is nothing but a description. So something like you can name, you can think of this one as a title, title of the suit. So title of the test suit. So you can think of this one as a description. And the second one will be an anonymous function. So this is the function, anonymous function. So this is the function which will be executed. So whatever the code you write in this function, so here it will be executed. And in this function, we will write the test. Okay, so we will write the test. So list of test, tests or specs. So we will write the tests or specs. So this is the, what I can say, the, uh, this, the, uh, this is the, how this is how we will be writing the test suite. Now let's try to execute and let's try to see it. So for seeing that whether we have written, we have created our first test suite, right? Now let's try to see whether this one is appearing or not. So we, what we need to see, we need to see the spec runner. So I am opening this one in the live server. Let's try to open this. So here I have opened, but we are not able to see the output. Let's try to open this spectrunner.html. What has happened? Okay, okay. So here something I pressed wrongly. I pressed enter, I think. Now, okay, fine. Let's try to refresh that one again. Yeah, here we are able to see that Jasmine and all those things. But still it is saying that we have created a test suite and we have created a unit test file. But still it is saying that incomplete and we are not able to find the specs. So what is the reason here? So I will try to show you. So we have created a unit test file, but we haven't added the source here. So whenever you have, you have created a suit uh, spec file, you need to you need to add the source here. Script type is equal to text slash JavaScript. Okay. And source is equal to we need to give the spec file. So it is nothing but calculator.spec.js file. So I have added it here. Let's try to see the output. So immediately if you have give, uh, so you have added the spec file script source and it is showing that here we are able to see the description. But here it is telling that the test suite does not contain the describe with no children that does not contain any test it is saying. So it need, it need to have a test. So now if you try to go here in this one. So now it is telling that describe you don't have any children. Children means nothing but the test. So you don't have any test, you need to write the test it is saying. So normally now if you come here, the description. So normally the description, how we need to write. The description will be in a such a way that, so we are writing the test for the calculator.js file. So, so because of that one, so what I can do is I can write something like calculator.js. <coughs> okay. Now whatever the test I write in this describe method, in this test suite, so those all methods, okay, these all the test cases will be in the calculator.js file. So that if you try to see here, so here you'll be able to see the calculator.js. This in this one, in this suite, you'll be able to see all the test cases. So if I click here, so here you'll be able to see the all the test cases that are that is that are for that is for calculator.js file. So this is this is how we will be creating the test suite. If you want, you can also create an another test suite also, like this. So this one will be an another test suite, test suite and you can think of something like another file. Okay. So this one will be like something like another file name. 
okay right now we are getting error why because we are getting error so it is uh, th it is asking that so you don't uh, you do uh, you should not mention describe with no children that means with no test so please write the test it is saying so right uh, if i try to see you will not get the second test suite but here so we can, if you want you can also mention the test suite like this so now what we need to do so let's remove this one now what we need to do so let's try to write the test cases so we can write the test cases or specs here okay in the next video we will see how to write the test case and the specs in this file hope you understood about this uh, right creating a test suite so these are the basic things you need to understand so if you understand these things so we can go step by step forward so if you understand how you now you understood about normally in the gist or something like that what we will try to create is so you can also use the it here okay describe or it also you can use it so here if i try to see you will be able to see that spec ha spec has no expectations calculator.js file so now here it is able to find the one spec spec has no expectations it is saying so like this you can also use the e sorry it is nothing but a test case sorry so you, you need to use describe only okay so that is a spec case so we will try to see that one also sorry i i, I mismatched that one so this is how we will be writing the test suite so in the next video you'll see how to write the specs or tests in the video so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you